Business actors who are members of the Indonesian Employers Association or APINDO see the threat of layoffs against employees becoming more real, along with the sluggish market of exports, which are experiencing a slowdown. In fact, data from the association's textile industry and textile products has terminated more than 58,000 employees. Labor-intensive industries such as tactiles and tactile products or TTP and footwear are still faced with threats of terminations of employment. Member of the Advisory Board of the Indonesian Employers Association, Apindo, who is also a Deputy Chairman of the Indonesia Textile Association or API, Anna Patricia Stutanto noted that conditions of the national labor-intensive industry, especially TTP products, which includes garments and footwear, are increasingly worrying amid the threat of a global economic recession. Anna explained that demand from the global market, especially developed countries, has been felt since the beginning of the second semester of this year, with orders dropping by up to 50% for delivery at the end of 2022 until the first quarter of 2023. This condition forced companies in the sector to reduce production significantly and led to reduced working hours and layoffs. Sektor alas kaki. Dari 37 uh, pabrik sepatu dengan total karyawan 337.192 sudah terjadi PHK 25.700 karyawan sejak Juli sampai Oktober 2022 karena terjadi penurunan 45 persen order untuk produksi November Desember 2022 yang sudah turun sampai dengan 51 persen. The weakening of demand is reflected in data from the Central Statistics Agency which recorded export performance in September 2022 of 24.8 billion US dollar down 10.99% compared to export in August 2022. Weakening exports are also reflected in the Indonesian Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index which was at the level of 51.8 in October 2022. Although this level indicated that the manufacturing sector remained in an expansionary stage, it was done compared to September, which was 53.7. From Jakarta, Devin Manusia, for IDX Channel.